Well, Obsidian's come out with a couple of changes. The first one, really obvious, the icon, loving this. But one of the biggest changes is they, they've changed like the entire website. So let's go through it. On the home page, you can see get Obsidian for Windows. That's because I'm on Windows. If you're on Mac, it would be for Mac, etc. So it's, it's operating system specific, I believe. Then when you click on more platforms, you've got the new icon showing and then download for Windows and then all the other platforms it's available on. Scrolling down, we still have all of the previous images just rearranged in a, in a cleaner way, I feel. And you scroll down to the bottom, you get another download for free, but then you've got join the Discord, discussion on the forum, and then the developer docs. So developers, there's there's your docs right here. And when we click in, it takes you to an Obsidian publish website, but developer documentation. And this is where you can look through all the documentation, which is really nice to see. It's easier to find on the website. I'm not a developer, so I won't look at that. And then we go to the top right and click on community. There's the Discord chat, there's the forum and some community places as well. You've got the roundup in here, you've got the plugin stats, the community hub and the community talks. Now, when we visit the forum, you can see there's the new icon inside the forum as well. The announcements channel has a big announcement. You can see they're archiving it. So they're archiving this entire announcement channel for the new Obsidian blog. Coming back to the website, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see some navigation down the bottom. You can see learn, you've got the help documentation, but the blog is right here. So going into the blog, we've got the most recent blog, which is the new icon. I'll go in in a minute. And then you have all of the previous blogs or announcements. So this is, I would imagine, where all the updates are going to happen and anything else that they want to talk about. So you can see the 2020 gems of the year. And I would imagine Obsidian October will also be inside of the blog, which you can see RSS feed, Twitter, Mastodon, etc. There is another button at the top for the download. Then there is the pricing. So when we go into pricing, obviously it takes us to the pricing and then shows the commercial use. And when you scroll down, you then get the two add-ons, Obsidian Sync and Obsidian Publish, for those that don't know, are now the exact same price. And for those of you like myself that want early access to new builds and things like that, you can get early access for a one-time payment of $25 plus. And something I do want to note, you've got all the FAQs down here, but when you come down, you can see, do you offer discounts for educational nonprofits and other groups? Yes, they still offer the 40% discount. It's just hidden in the FAQ section. So don't be afraid, it, it, it is still there. When you go up to the top and click on sync, it's got the sync page that shows you everything about sync, which is very nice. Start syncing. And when you go to publish, it's got the exact same thing for all the publish information. I have a published site. So when you have a look down here, you see explore published sites for Obsidian community. It currently has these eight sites up here. If you're curious, if you go to the about page of my website, you can see down here public notes and click on that. You can see the Vaultcraft published website that I use with John. So myself and John use Vaultcraft and this is all of my notes. So my published site is also available, but it's not inside this list here. So if you want to know what my stuff is, you can have a look that way. But these are all really cool sites. Then as we go over to the accounts at the top right, this has all been updated. So even though you can see the menu there, it's all one page. You just scroll up and down and go through. But all the information is here and it just looks nicer, it feels cleaner, and you can see everything else is going on. And going into the billing section, you can see discount, you can then apply for that discount inside of the account settings, going to whatever other part that you want. I'm gonna go back to the main site. Going all the way down to the bottom, you can see in the learn section, we've got the help docs, which is still the same. And then we have the change log, and this shows obviously all of the changes. So you can see these are public changes. And as you scroll down, this is a catalyst change. So that's the insiders, so the early access build. So this is only available for those with the catalyst so when we scroll up this one is public this one is catalyst etc etc so some of these recent updates are only available for the catalyst like the new pdf viewer i think that may be going live soon though if it hasn't done already then going to the blog we have the new icon i think because i'm so used to the old obsidian icon it's going to take me some time to get used to it but it still looks pretty cool then as you scroll down you get some different looks of the icon but what's really nice is this right here so when you click into a color, you can then pick any color that you want. And obviously it changes the color. So let's go over here that's green. And then we can change the background to red. That's a really odd combination. Uh, we can shuffle. So shuffle through different color combinations and they all look way better than what I just made. But once you've found something that you like, you can then save it as a PNG, SVG or ICO. Now, before saving this, I do recommend downloading the most recent version of Obsidian so you get the new updated installer, which you should be doing anyway. Um, but it also gives you the icon, the new icon inside of Obsidian. So when you go to the vault switcher, it looks like this, not the older version. But once you found a combination that looks kind of nice, so let's use this one. If you're on Mac or Linux, I believe you want to save it as a PNG or SVG. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to save it as an ICO. 
and you can see I've now saved the Obsidian icon. Then if I go into Windows, go to Obsidian and then open file location, you can see I've got my Obsidian in here. I've actually already changed the icon, but when I right click, I then go properties. It then gives me the option to change icon. I can then browse and then find the icon. I've already found my icon. And once you've found it, click on OK, apply, and then OK. Now when I come out, if I go down to my dock and windows, you can see the icon has changed into the orange obsidian, which I quite like. This was just a quick update, but let me know what your thoughts are on the new icon and the new website in the comment section below.